Hello and welcome to another quick demonstration of the HPE ArcSight solution uh, with regards to looking at and investigating from a notification, looking at vulnerability data and carrying out the detailed investigation of what's going on. So um, I'm going to start from a very simple point of view here. I can see that I have, uh, in this particular case, I'm going to look at this attack in progress known vulnerable asset. So one of the great things that we're going to be doing here is understanding what the relationship is between an asset, a vulnerability, and then an attack against that. The system will actually do that automatically and understand what's going on for us and give us that data. So in this case, I'm actually just going to double click on my information there attack in progress and we can see this is a correlation rule that's triggered and uh, we can see there's an underlying base event now in this particular uh, case i can actually look at this information i can un i can see that it refers to a particular vulnerability it's an old vulnerability this is demonstration data because we can't use customer data but the whole point here is it understands that i'm seeing traffic to uh, a particular asset and it has a particular vulnerability and then i'm also seeing a matching IDS IPS event. In fact, if I look at that event there, I can see that it's come from an, an IDS network device and it's understood that there's the, the vulnerability is in there. So if I look at the details that are actually go with this event itself, I can actually scroll down and I can see what it's referring to with regards to the references and the vulnerabilities of what's going in. Now, if we've also defined what the business impact as well, we'll also see that as well. So in fact, we actually see that this refers to um, revenue generation system. So, you know, we can add that, can, that context in there as well. But the important thing here is, is it's a actually adding that context automatically understanding what the vulnerability is and understanding what's going on accordingly. So I, actually what I can do is I can just actually go to that vulnerability information itself. We can see that it refers to, a, we, we, in this case, it's done the classification by CVE. We can actually go directly to see and understand which assets are impacted by this. N note as well, this I'm just clicking through. This is not running a search to try and identify it, to try and piece together. The, the system is doing that mapping for me. It, it understands what that particular vulnerability is. It's, understand, it's understood that we've, ha, we've done a scan previously, that these particular assets have that specific vulnerability. So it's, that's what it's doing as a mapping, and that's what it's understanding. Uh, that means you have to use uh, an IDS and IPS system, uh, but it doesn't mean you have to use a specific type, and it doesn't mean you have to build that mapping yourself. That's the important aspect. It does it for you. So, okay, so we've understood that there is uh, an incident here and uh, we can see that there, there is an attempt to exploit a particular vulnerability and it's an attack in progress against a, a known vulnerable asset and it's scored the priority automatically for me. So we can see it's bumped the priority of the threat massively to understand. What I really need to do now is investigate against that. So the great thing here is actually I can just right mouse click, go to the investigate. I can actually see the exploited vulnerability, which is what we just looked at. I can actually go to the asset as well to understand a little bit more about the context in there. So I could just click the asset there. We can understand the, the asset, what categories it has. This is all definable as part of what we want to do and build out. We can see the vulnerabilities it's got as well, which is fantastic. But what I want to do is actually I want to investigate now. So let's investigate and look at the event context. So we just go through, we want to understand what the relevant event data is around this period of communications. So it just retrieving the data, uh, we can see all of the matching relevant data that we're actually going to get as part of this. So what does that mean? It means that we're going to see yeah, for example, we can see the actual event here, attack in progress, known vulnerable assets. So that's, that's what's going on. It's in the middle of, of the communications. It's looking backwards and forwards as part of that. Um, what does that actually mean? Well, it, it's looking at the various IP address. What else talked to that IP address? What, uh, so we can see the 148 there, but this IP address talked to it. We can see that there is other communications up here. So it's all to do with the context of what the communications are. So there's been a huge number of correlation events have suddenly occurred around this particular bunch of hostile events. So we need to start looking in and understanding what the relevance is and what the importance to that. One fantastic and simple way of doing that, just let's just highlight those log messages. Let's just graph it. Let's just understand what the relationship is between that. Suddenly we get a much better view of what's what's actually going on. So let me zoom in a little bit on some of this data itself. So we can actually see there's a whole bunch of, of events that are occurring. Now, I know for a fact that this is the, the original communications that we saw. So we saw um, uh, known vulnerable assets. So there's, obviously there's another uh, instant where something's occurred where it's been potentially vulnerable. So we can see our IP address there. 
We can also see that as a number of other things are, are also communicating backwards and forwards with regards to this particular asset, this particular device, which we know is vulnerable and it's got this vulnerability that has been uh, potentially been used. So from here, we can actually see, and the size of the box is important, we can see that there is uh, a number of accepts, we can see there's a number of other activities going backwards and forwards. And we can also see that there's this, this host here. This is quite interesting. We can see it's also seeming to be attacking it and it's also seeming to be having communications with other systems as well. So now we've got an opportunity to actually dig in and start doing some drill down through some of this to understand what what's controlling, what's doing the communications here. So, you know, this is both a, 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 a something that's been attacked, but it's also something that is now attacking other systems. So we can actually just right mouse click. Let's do an investigation. Let's, let's understand what's actually going on with this particular IP address. So we can open up another view and look at the log data according to this particular system and go, well, what else is this system attacking? What else is it communicating with? Oh, suddenly we can now see there's a huge amount of communications on a firewall basis. So we probably want to dig into that. We can also see suddenly it's doing a bunch load of port scans as well. So actually, this is probably a very relevant thing for us to start digging into and start understanding who's actually logged into this device, uh, who uh, has activity communications to and from it and start understanding what's going on. The important thing here is, is that actually in each one of these, I can just go, jump backwards and forwards to go back to my views uh, of what I'm seeing as part of this investigation and, and understand and drill down and drill backwards and pivot around that data to understand what the relevance is. I go back to my original notification and pop up the information. I can then even, if I wanted to, actually allocate that to a case, create a case, add the data into it and start capturing this information uh, and, and having that and sharing that between my SOC operations capability. But just to qu quickly recap, it's just a very quick and simple example to show how the system will understand what the vulnerability data is, how that maps to an asset. If it has that vulnerability, it will automatically score that accordingly. As we saw here, it's actually scoring the priority according because it has that vulnerability. It knows what that vulnerability is and it knows what the particular IDS IPS event message will be. I don't have to, to, to search to find any of this information. It's actually there and it's mapped for me. And then I can subsequently do an investigation and graph that data to understand what the impact and relevance is. So a very quick demonstration to show what we can do. Uh, and thank you very much for your time.